Hi there. All of you on YouTube, hope all of you, the week is starting out wonderful for you. It's, it's, it's Wednesday night when I'm taping this. And let's get right to my comments because I have about three issues to cover in this video. Notre Dame University, a Catholic university institution, has invited President Obama to be its commencement speaker this year. Well, Kel Thomas, yesterday in a radio commentary, has some great thoughts on that topic, and I want to quote part of what Kel said in that commentary. Can you imagine Morehouse College, a black institution, inviting a white supremacist to speak? Neither can I, which makes me wonder why Notre Dame University, a distinctly Catholic institution, is invited President Obama to be its commencement speaker this year. Obama may be the most pro-abortion president in history. Several popes have labored, labeled abortion murder. Ralph McAmey, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, a serious Catholic, Cal Wright says, who is retiring this year after 54 years of teaching at Notre Dame, has said, by inviting Barack Obama as commencement speaker, Notre Dame is telling the nation that the teaching of the Catholic Church on the fundamental matter can, on this fundamental matter can be ignored. Notre Dame has forfeited its right to call itself a Catholic university. It invites an official rebuke. May it come. Amen, Cal. Shame on Notre Dame. Okay. Now, can I share something which is driving me nuts? If you supported President Obama in the last election, I tip my hat to you. Your guy won. Congratulations. But, it has been four months since the election. Why do some of you still have your uh, vote for Obama bumper stickers on your car? Please remove them. He is the president now. He's been elected. Your guy won. And by the way, I would feel the same way if McCain had won. I did not back Obama, as most of you know. But I want you to know I am truly praying for the man as president. I wonder, those of you who support Obama... Would you be doing the same thing if John McCain had won? Would you be praying for McCain? Okay. Now, the economy has been a big issue. And what's going on in Washington with the budget? My local, my state senator here in my state wrote a great commentary for our local paper, and I want to read part of that commentary. Opinion piece, I should say. While it is politically popular to wish the government could magically make our economy problems disappear, the hard truth is that more wasteful government spending, higher taxes, and a federal deficit too large to comprehend will only make our problems worse. I fear President Barack Obama's proposed budget will lead us to runaway inflation and problems we have yet to realize. The President's agenda is ambitious. He's tackling global warming, health care, and education, but the administration proposals to address these and other important issues with a program of taxation, spending, and borrowing on a scale unprecedented in our nation's history. And it's a scale that our teetering economy is incapable of supporting. Now is not the time to plunge America into greater debt. The president's budget would raise the 209 deficit to 1.75 trillion. It's not a matter of any of us wanting to see President Obama fail. Regardless of our personal political affiliations, he is the leader of our nation, and his failure would affect us all. But we must insist that he succeed with sound policies that will strengthen our economy and restore our prosperity. Amen. That was written by Senator Mike Friend. And Senator Friend is right. That's why I agree with Rush Limbaugh. I want Obama to do well, but where his policies are going to hurt America, I want those policies to fail. Okay? I would love it if Obama came out of this and became a born-again conservative. But again, I don't necessarily want him to fail, but I do want his left-wing, radical left policies to fail, from abortion to the economy. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sure many of you have comments to post on one of the topics I discussed today, or perhaps all three topics. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Billy. I'll see you.